This holiday season, one local man got the gift of redemption. On Christmas Eve, Governor Brown pardoned 91 people for their past crimes. On that list was 81-year-old Noah Masterson. As Fox 40's Joe Khalil tells us, his pardon was nearly 40 years in the making. <laughs> At 81 years old, Noah Jean Masterson says his memory isn't what it used to be. But August 1954, when he was 17, always comes back to him. We stole a car down in Galt and took it to go see some girlfriends. It was his first brush with the law. He got off with probation, but a bar fight a few months later landed him in jail in Tuolumne County. I know there long enough I was getting kind of bored with it. <laughs> so he broke out. Partly the guard's fault, as he remembers it. He always left the key in the door. That was his mistake. Masterson served two years, got out in 1956, and hasn't been in trouble since. He married his wife, Betty, a few years later. His family forgave him for his youthful indiscretions, but as time went on, he wanted forgiveness from the state, a pardon. Every time that we've applied, they just reply back, not at this time, try again in the next administration. With every new governor, a new attempt for almost 40 years. The Mastersons were ready to give up when Noah's nephew stepped in. He wanted to be able to tell his daughter that, uh, that he was a free man. Rick Griggs contacted two investigators, one in the governor's legal affairs office. They dug up enough to build a new case for Masterson's pardon. Six months of digging until Griggs got a phone call on Christmas Eve, decades in the making. He fought back tears, describing it. It's uh, pretty emotional, so. It's like you're going to get your pardon. I said, well, mercy be the day. That was my words right there, and that's just the way I felt. A gift on Christmas and a double lesson to never give up and that you're never too old for redemption. In Sacramento, Joe Khalil, Fox 40 News. In addition to his pardon, Betty and Noah will celebrate their 53rd wedding anniversary next week.